This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. Let's take a look now at how to mix voice and music in your video. Uh, you would think, you know, initially that that might be a very straightforward, easy thing to do, but really, if you want to do it right, it's not. You got to kind of pay attention to certain things. Now, I hearken back to my days in radio business where when we did this sort of thing, we had our hands on the volume control for the music and we had our hands on the volume control for the microphone. And when we wanted to mix everything together, we just turned it. You know, it was very, very easy to do. We don't have the knobs in Premiere, so you got to use the tools you have available to us. All right, now I've constructed this sequence that's going to go more towards the end of the project about the High Sierra Volunteer Trail Crew, specifically about Chain. Let's take a look at what we've got so far, and I think you'll see the things that need work. They're, the kids are not at home playing Nintendo or video games or, or listening to the radio. You know, a lot of why I'm where I'm at today is because my parents took the time to, to bring me out here and to show me what this is all about. instilled this drive in me to protect the forest. And if I have that effect on one of these young kids um, to her in their life, when they're my age at 47, that they'll be doing the same thing and carrying this torch. I couldn't ask for a better legacy. Okay, so I think you can see where these areas right here, where we have Shane on the picture-in-picture, picture, and he's narrating a little bit about his reflection on the kids' involvement in the program. His voice is drowned out by the music track, which is right here. And what we need to do is make adjustments. When his voice is ready to come in, we've got to make the adjustments in order for him to be heard. So here's how that works. All right, we're going to take this to about right here. Pull down the Alt key, pull towards you on the wheel on the mouse. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this Audio Track 2, and you have to activate it, you have to choose it, click on it. And then we're gonna establish a keyframe marker. Go about right there, put in another keyframe marker. And then we're gonna bring the volume down very quickly. And then come over here, establish another marker. And then right here, you can kind of go along here because recovering the music is not as important as getting rid of it quickly. All right, let's give a listen to that and see how that sounds. Kids are not at home playing Nintendo or video games or or listening to the radio. Much, much better. So let's just go ahead over to the next inset where we have Shane. And then let's position our guide marker right here. We have the audio chosen. We put a keyframe marker there. Let's put another one right there, and I'm going to pull this down. And then when he's through speaking, right about here, we want this to go back up. What we're doing actually is creating manual fade outs and fade ins, which is the only way to do this, really. Okay, I want this to come up a little more in the middle. All right, let's listen to that and see what we've got. 
lot of why I'm where I'm at today is because my parents took the time to, to bring me out here and to show me what this is all about. Sounds excellent. All right, let's keep going. One more time. This is laborious, but it is worth it because you want the audio. See, you can't emphasize enough to you how important audio is. Because you can have the best video in the world, but if you don't have good audio, then you're going to lose them. You are going to lose them. So you're following me along here on this, right? You're watching what I'm doing, and I'm grabbing this keyframe, pushing it up, and it creates a fade out here from high to low, louder to not so loud, and then it recovers after he's done talking. And here's his audio clip right here. So let's listen to that. So I have to thank my mother and my father. They're the ones that instilled this drive in me to protect the forest. And if I have that effect on one of these young kids um, to where in their life, when they're my age at 47, that they'll be doing the same thing and carrying this torch, I couldn't ask for a better legacy. Okay, that's a little bit off, so let's move these right over here. I want that to be coming up a little quicker. And then I want this to be a little more quiet. I want to bring this down a little more than it was. Because so I think they all need work. They all need to come down just a bit more. All right, let's listen to the completed sequence and see what we've got. They're, the kids are not at home playing Nintendo or video games or or listening to the radio. You know, a lot of why I'm where I'm at today is because my parents took the time to, to bring me out here and to show me what this is all about. So I have to thank my mother and my father. They're the ones that instilled this drive in me to protect the forest. And if I... That one was horrible, so let's go back and correct that one. All right, so here we... I'm going to go back in. And we want to drop this one down a little earlier. So let's pull it on an earlier space. Listen to it again. So I have to thank my mother and my father. They're the ones that instilled this drive in me to protect... <laughs> Where did it go? It's too quiet. It went away too much. Let's bring it back just a smidgen there so you can at least hear it. All right, one more time. So I have to thank my mother and my father. They're the ones that instilled this drive in me to protect the forest. And if I have that effect on one of these young kids um, to where in their life, when they're my age at 47, that they'll be doing the same thing and carrying this torch, I couldn't ask for a better legacy. Nope. And we're going to listen a little bit to see how the crowd noise and the ambient noise of this picture-taking session melts in with the music. So bear with me here just a minute. We'll see how that mixes in. One more. Well, I have my camera, but I'm still waiting for someone. One, two, three, cheese! <laughs> All right, we're out of here. We done? Okay. Are we done? All right, that sounds about perfect. So there you have it. There you see the importance of balancing your audio between the spoken word, the voice, and the music. Now, this could probably be all tweaked and perfected and made just a little bit better, but you get the basic idea of how to use these manual rubber bands, these manual volume controls, to do things that you really have no preset for and you can't do in the middle of a track. You've really got to do these things manually to really set this off in a professional manner.